Hi, my name is Kelly Kraft, Regional Manager at Hair Fairies. Today, I'm going to show you our knit zapping process, researched and developed by Hair Fairies. It's a three-step process. First is the evaluation process, where we're going to look and see if you have any knits or lice. Second is a knit picking part. We're going to go ahead and comb through your hair to remove any lice or knits. And the third final step is the treatment process, where we apply a non-toxic prevention oil and also a shampoo. First, we're going to start with the evaluation process, which is going to let us know whether you have had lice or not. There's going to be two key points. We're going to show you a looping method and also a press down method. There are going to be four areas on the head that you would like to focus on. The front hairline, by the ears, the crown, and the nape of the neck. Start by separating the hair. You want to press down on the hair because if there's a knit, it's going to pop up. Then you also want to do a looping method, which is going to show you where the knits are. Let's go ahead and dispel some myths. Lice do not jump, fly, dig, or burrow. They don't gravitate towards any socioeconomic status, and they do not discriminate. They don't live on other parts of the body or animals. The main way you contract head lice is from hair to hair contact or things that go directly on the head, as in hats, hair brushes, or anything that can be shared. When looking through the hair, a knit is about the size of a strawberry seed. It can vary in color, but it will never vary in shape and size. It can go anywhere from a clear translucent to a dark brown. Now that we've established that Jackie has plenty of knits and lice, we're going to go ahead with our second step of our knit zapping process, which is the knit picking part. What you're going to need is a regular comb, a knit zapping comb, and also water bottle. You want to make sure that the hair is thoroughly wet before beginning. Now that we have the hair fully wet with water, we're going to go ahead and apply our knit zapping cleanse cream. You want to make certain that you apply at least a quarter size to start with. You go ahead and apply all the cream on the hairline. If you need to detangle the hair, feel free to use a regular comb. spreading it all the way through the whole entire hair strand. Next, we're going to go in and move on with our knit zapping lice removal comb. You want to make sure that the comb lays parallel to the scalp. This ensures the fact that we're able to catch all the knits and the live lice in the comb. This is our front to back, starting at the front of the hairline, all the way to the back of the head, and all the way through the whole entire hair strand. Once the comb is filled with both cream, knits, and live lice, you want to wipe on a white towel. You're going to be able to see exactly what you find. Live lice along with their eggs. So you're going to continue traveling front to back until your comb comes out clean at least 10 times. This process may take a while, so don't be alarmed. Now, side to side. Make sure you bring the hair all the way over to one side. You don't want to miss any of these little hairs. There can be knits and bugs in both of them. Keep it flat all the way through and bringing it all the way to the other side and through the hair strand. Making sure we keep the hair very, very, very nice and tight and the comb flat, very flat to the scalp. Now that we're done with this side, you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side.
Now we're parting the hair down the middle, making sure we have even amounts on both sides. Almost as though you were gonna go ahead and put the hair in two pigtails. Comb the hair all the way flat, from the part all the way down to the ears. Once that's done, apply more water and a little bit of cream. Once the cream is applied, remember, always stay very, very flat to the scalp. Take it from the part all the way down and through the hair strand, all the way out till the end making sure you get every part of the head. At this point, it should be lightening up a little bit, so you're not going to be able to find as many as you did in the first two sections. Once finishing the right side, you're gonna do the same exact thing on the left side. And for the last step, you're going to be combing the hair back to front. You wanna comb the hair back into a ponytail first, and then Bend the head all the way down, making sure the hair is nice and smooth, all the way from the back to the front. Same thing, apply some water, and then a little bit more cream. Once the cream is applied, you wanna take it the same thing, flat, all the way from the back to the front, making sure you really focus on all of these little hairs. And also, the head being down as flat as possible flattens out the curve of the neck, making sure you can get into that curve. Our next step is a manual removal. We wanna make sure that we're removing anything that did not get taken out by the comb. The comb takes approximately 80% of the visible lice and nits, so we're gonna be looking thoroughly throughout the whole entire head for anything left behind. We're going to do those two methods we learned in the beginning, which is the press down and the looping method. Go ahead and start at the front and work all the way throughout the whole entire head, looking for anything that possibly is missed. Making sure that you look in all areas of the head. When a knit is found on the hair, you want to make sure you isolate it and remove it with your fingernails all the way through the whole entire hair strand. And you want to do this throughout the whole entire head. This process should take approximately 30 minutes. Now we're moving into our final step of the knit zapping process. How we're going to begin that is by applying the prevention oil. You're going to put one pump in the palm of your hands. Spread it thoroughly throughout your fingertips. You're gonna start at the front hairline, on the skin around the hairline and not in the hair. Apply it all the way through the front, back behind the ears, and all the way to the nape of the neck. You're gonna have a little bit left on your hands, so you're gonna go through and rub it throughout the whole entire scalp. Again, we're gonna go ahead and thoroughly wet down all of the hair. Now that the hair is thoroughly wet, we're moving on to the final step. Go ahead and apply the shampoo, making sure it goes throughout the whole entire head. Concentrating at the scalp and creating a lather. And then you can rinse it out. The one thing I would really like to tell you that the person that is being treated wears their hair tightly pulled back. This is a great way to prevent other people to get this and to not get it again yourself. This just has to sit on 15 minutes and you're finally done. After the treatment process is completed, you and the person being treated are going to need to make sure that they wash their hands completely with a eucalyptus hand soap. Make sure you get underneath the fingernails and all parts of the hands.